In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your old Windows or Mac PC into a Rodecaster Pro. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name's Shane. Now, the good news is if you own a Rode NT-USB mini microphone, you can now connect multiples of them up to a computer using the new Rode Connect software that was just released today as of shooting this. Now this software is completely free, so go ahead and download it. I'll leave links to it in the description below. The Rode Connect software can handle a maximum of four NT-USB mini microphones, which is the same amount of microphones that the Rodecaster Pro can handle. In addition to the app being able to support four NT-USB mini microphones, it also has some virtual signal chains. When it comes to the system and virtual tracks, these are perfect for playing audio from an external source or from an app. Say for example, you've got a guest that's coming in over Skype, you can add them to the podcast in true mix minus form. Adding a mix minus is usually a headache if you've got an analog mixer, unless of course you've done it before, but it's great to see that they've incorporated this into every channel. Now if you use open broadcaster software for streaming or gaming, this will plug directly into OBS. Just select the properties tab off the audio options and you can find the drop down menu corresponding to each of the audio options. Now when it comes to the hardcore gaming setups, go check out the official Rode video. I'll leave a link up in the cards. Now being that I do mostly podcasting, that goes a little bit over my head. Sad but true. <laughs> now, full disclosure, Rode have sent out a couple of these Rode NT-USB microphones for this particular video. They've given me no direction in which they want me to take this video in order that they get to preview it ahead of time. So I'm gonna share with you my experience setting this up and we're also gonna test it out with multiple microphones. Right now, I have one connected to this Rode boom arm over here. It's not currently recording and I'm gonna connect up a second one as well. One of the best things about the Rodecaster Pro is its ability to identify which channel is which thanks to the color coding on the front pads. Now to go in line with the release of the free Rode Connect software, Rode have released what they're calling Colors, which is a pack of color identifiers for the NT-USB mini microphones. These just simply click onto the top of the microphone and also onto the USB-C type cable or USB-A to USB-C type cable thanks to these little hook type ones here. So this is an easy way to identify exactly which channel you're gonna be editing or modifying on the fly if you're using the software to adjust levels. You can look in the room and say, okay, this person's using the green microphone. Where is it? Oh, it's the green channel in the software. And then I can adjust that slider. I've currently got the pink one connected right now as well. And one thing that I noticed, while these are designed to be connected to the actual USB port connector, you can also click them onto the boom arm. And I'm gonna probably leave it like that for the rest of the video. If you're a solo podcaster or if you have someone else in the studio, odds are you might not even need these, but they're a good option if you get more than two people because then cable management can also be an issue and you wanna visually identify who's using which microphone so you can adjust the levels accordingly. If you're new to the world of podcasting, you might have a few questions about why you should go this route over buying a Rodecaster Pro or any similar hardware item. So if you've already invested in microphones like the Rode Procaster or Pod Microphone or SM7B or any of these other microphones, then this particular setup won't be for you. This is designed to get people podcasting very simply with these NT-USB mini microphones. And this is far more cost effective if you already own a computer. And being that the software doesn't require a lot of CPU, odds are most computers out there can handle it. If my little crappy MacBook Air from five years ago can handle it than any computer can. And I'm screen recording on there also. So it will handle this no problems at all. One of the best things about these microphones as well is if you have multiples connected, you can hear the other person in the room via your headphones being connected to your microphone. I think this is awesome. And then you can mix each of the audio on the fly. When it comes down to it, I really feel like this is a really cost-effective way of getting started. These microphones aren't that expensive in the grand scheme of microphones, so it's a really good way to get set up. And being that the software for this is free, it's a bit of a no-brainer to give it a go, especially if you already own an NT-USB Mini. Links to these will be below if you want to check them out. So right now, what I'm going to do is give you an overview of the Rode Connect software, starting with the screen that I'm looking at right now. So as you can see, I've got channel one enabled and channel two is for this microphone. I've color coded it with the green and you can see that it's this channel over here. Now I have actually got channel two on mute, but otherwise you're gonna get some really weird phasing issues going on, especially because I'm the only person in the room talking. You can set the level of each of the channels. We have all of the same Rodecaster software built in. So we get a noise gate, 
We have a compressor, we have the exciter and big bottom. I'm gonna go back to channel one right now, which I've currently got set to 20 on its level. And I'm gonna turn the noise gate off and show you how that sounds. And with it back on, it sounds far better. So in my opinion, leave the noise gate on, depending on your particular situation. My room's not treated, so it is what it is. I like to leave that on. We then have a compressor. Now compressors bring up the quiet sections of your voice and bring down the loud sections. So you get a more constant signal. I'll turn that off right now. And this actually to my ear sounds a little bit better with it off. So I'm just gonna leave it off for the moment. And then we have an exciter, which was currently off. I found this to be a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna turn that on and just the high end gets a little bit on the sizzly side, at least in these headphones right here. Depending on what you're listening through, it may sound better or worse as well, but I'm just gonna turn that back off. And the big bottoms is like a low end sort of broadcaster sound, gives you that big chesty voice. I'm gonna turn that off and this will be the microphone in more of its you know flat state. And then back on so you can hear how it sounds. Let's say, for example, there's a co-host or you've got four people in on a podcast all using these microphones going into the Rode Connect software. You can mix it in essentially the same way you would mix on the Rodecaster Pro, which I love. Simply drag the sliders up or down to change the volume of the voice. And you can do this in real time on each of them without hearing any artifacts in the audio. Sometimes with digital sliders, they don't always work well, but in this particular case, it sounds great. If I was to pull this down, it's gonna drop my voice. If I'm gonna bring it back up, it's going to get louder. So you can set these up individually for each of the guests or podcast hosts. One of the most powerful features of the Rode Connect software is its ability to record either multi-channel or in stereo. So if you're recording in multi-channel and there's two people in the room, this will give you the ability to do some post-production on each of the channels audio independently without having to try to separate it from a stereo track. Or if you're on your own, or if you've got a great mix in the room, a stereo track will be fine in most situations. You can upload that directly to your podcasting service. So it's up to you how you wanna run it, but being that it can also do multi-channel, I think gives it the advantage over a lot of other software. So to record your podcast, all you have to do is click on this record button. And when you're done, you click on this tab here and it will show you all of your podcasts that are currently recorded on the computer. Now, one of the cool things that Rode have done here, they've made it easy to export to different types of services with the correct file formatting. So if we click this tab here, it will bring up some options. So being that I was using the pink microphone for most of mine, I'm gonna select the pink option. So I know that that's relating to my voice here. Then we can choose all of these different platforms here. So Spotify, iTunes, there's all the major ones here, and this will change up the export options. So. Being that I go to iTunes, I'm gonna select that, and it's already going to select MP3 at 44.1 kilohertz at all of the correct options for that particular service. If you want the highest quality export, just leave it set to WAV and select export, and then you're good to go. So I'm just gonna see how this works right now. Select my desktop, boom, and watch the export go. Now this was over 30 minutes in length, and even on my old computer, it's doing it in under 10 seconds, which is pretty good. I'm quite surprised actually how fast this is. Today's video is more of an overview of what you can expect out of the Rode Connect software when you pair it with the NT-USB mini microphones. A massive thank you to Rode for sending these out. I hope this video has been helpful. I'm gonna show you how to set this Rode Connect software up in a number of different ways for live streaming and live switching. So stay tuned for that. I know a lot of people who watch the channel are into switching and all that kind of stuff. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you got some value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.